Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord, and today we're gonna be actually going over the tweet that Lando actually announced yesterday, which actually revealed a pretty huge thing for Pokemon McBrongs. I mean, this was pretty huge news. This is probably the biggest news we've had about an update in quite some time, because although it was just one little Pokeball on screen, it says a lot about what Pokemon are possibly coming, what little secret items may be coming also, and um, whether or not the 8th gym update will be actually different from the Safari Zone update. Uh, so basically, if you guys never saw my video yesterday, I actually did a video covering the tweet that Lando said. Uh, basically, he pretty much announced that there was going to be a Safari Zone in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Something that I've been asking for, I think, since I ever went deep sea diving on that one area in Pokemon Brick Bronze, I was like, Oh god, this is awesome, they need to have a safari zone. And then, I asked a couple of developers, I'm pretty sure a couple of them at the time said like, you know, they had no use for it or anything like that, and basically the deep sea diving was kind of a part of that whole thing. Uh, but obviously, since then, a lot's changed, and they've realized that, you know, a safari zone is what people want, and uh, yeah, it's definitely something that people will really 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 like um so basically i kind of wanted to go over again what i think will come in this safari zone update so basically um i played the original pokemon games i've played them since they ever first came out um i think like yeah it's, it's pretty much been a childhood like thing of mine i just love pokemon games and uh, one of the best things about Pokemon Yellow, Red, Blue uh, was that you could actually go into the Safari Zone and catch really rare Pokemon. And now this actually gave me a lot of time on Pokemon uh, because, you know, basically you were always inside there hunting and hunting and hunting and trying to get the Pokemon that you wanted because the Safari Zone is actually really hard to catch Pokemon in there. I mean, you don't get to battle or anything like that. The only thing that you're able to actually do in the Safari Zone is you're able to throw candy or bait at them, I guess, to kind of make them come closer to you. And then you are also able to throw rocks at them. That was in the earlier versions of Pokemon when, you know, you could throw rocks at a Pikachu, be like, yo, Pikachu, I don't like your face, man. Bam! Um, but nowadays, like, you throw mud. You just throw mud balls nowadays, which is kind of cool, you know? That's a more safer, child-friendly kind of approach to abusing Pokemon, I guess. Um, so basically, I'm thinking that Lando is going to introduce the bait and the mud ball thing. You know, if you want to annoy the Pokemon, you can throw mud at them. Uh, because, you know, some Pokemon, when they're annoyed, they get easier to actually catch, which is pretty cool. Um, so... I'm personally thinking that when the Safari Zone comes out, it's going to be like you pay to get in. It's like, what, 500 Pokebucks or something like that, maybe even a little bit less. And you get a set amount of time to walk around and catch Pokemon. I would say for, let's see, around about like, let's say, for example, it's 100 Pokebucks, right? I would say that for 100 Pokebucks, it would be okay if we could walk around for maybe three minutes or something like that i think that is fair to say that's an all right little deal right there for three minutes uh, for 100 pokebooks or something like that and um, and then once we're inside here there will be a multiple of areas inside here there will be a place where you can actually surf around and catch water type pokemon you can also like fish in that area then there's going to be like a woodlands area or something like that and uh, possibly even a cave area with like a you know, you know different kind of cave pokemon that haven't yet been introduced to the actual game itself. Um, if you can hear my dog shout, uh, barking downstairs, uh, I do apologize, he's a noisy little dude. Um, but anyway, so once we get into the Safari Zone, um, in the old Pokemon Yellow games, there was actually an old man who had gold teeth. And you would meet him outside the Safari Zone and he'd be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. He wouldn't make any sense. And you'd be like, oh, okay, this old dude, like, he's lost his teeth. But then when you get inside the actual Safari Zone itself, you would actually stumble across these teeth. You would actually find them somewhere in the Safari Zone and they would be a key item in the game. Now, what I'm thinking is that hopefully Lando has done the exact same thing for the Safari Zone update. I'm hoping that once you get inside there, there will be some kind of key item that you can choose or, you know, kind of do or something like that. And um, yeah, I would just really love something like that. I would love some kind of key item or something inside the Safari Zone to kind of make it more worthwhile, you know? Maybe if they, if they did a couple of key items, I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. Um, I would also like to see some kind of leaderboard or something like that in the Safari Zone. I don't really know how to implement this. Uh, maybe it could be like, um, 
Oh, how would you even implement like a leaderboard? So basically, when you go into the arcades in Pokemon Brick Bronze, uh, they have the leaderboards of who has the highest score on what kind of game. Um, it would be cool if they did like a leaderboard for the person who spent the most time in there and everything like that. I don't know. I think something like that to re-acknowledge like, you know, that players are actually like really hyped about this and everything like that. And um, that would be pretty cool. Um, other than that, I want to kind of talk about three, four different Pokemon that I would really love to see added to this update. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know by now that Lickitung and Kangaskhan are not in the game. And I really, really love Lickitung and Kangaskhan. Like, I, they are, are one of my favorite two people, like two of my favorite uh, Pokemons ever. And uh, I would really love to see these guys in. But also, if you look on screen right now, uh, you will actually see a lot of community answers. I asked earlier today on Twitter for a chance to be in today's video. Just comment who you want to be added into the new Safari Zone in Pokemon Brick Bronze. And uh, here's what a couple of people had to say. So, uh, first off, we have Warm uh, Connell, and he says, uh, Kangaskhan, Smeagol, Farfetch, which I really agree with. Same with Smeagol and uh, Lickitung, Sharpedo. Sharpedo, I would really like to be added into the game. Um, maybe some rare Pokemon, like reintroducing the Hardtail Pikachu, or maybe something completely new, like an Ash Pikachu, wearing his cap or something different and extremely rare. Uh, also, Deerling before Christmas comes. Uh, I definitely agree with some sort of special Pokemon that you can catch in there. One of the problems that the Pokemon Brick Bronze devs really have is making these updates replay playable like for example you know the um the arcade no one goes in there anymore so it was pretty much a wasted experience i mean they wasted like a month or two of doing that nobody's ever in there anymore they need to make their updates replayable otherwise people are just going to get to the end of the game and be like oh okay we got every pokemon that's it let me move on to something different they need to figure out ways that they can actually make these replayable Personally, I do think that if they do a Safari Zone, a weekly kind of change of Pokemon would be really cool. That would be really good. A really smart way to actually keep people coming back to this uh, would be to have it where one week it'll be certain type of Pokemon appearing there. The other week, it'll be a certain other type of Pokemon. Um, I would really enjoy that. If you are watching this right now, Pokemon devs, uh, please think about it. It's very smart. It makes sense. It'll have players really loving it. Um... Other than that, Robosloft Gaming said, Rainbow Slackoth, lol, but on a serious note, they could add more non-soft reset legends. I definitely do want to see a um, legend in the Safari Zone, or some kind of link with a legend in the Safari Zone. Uh, I actually said Meloetta as one of my Pokemon that I would love to see in the Safari Zone. I know a, lo a couple of other people actually said Celebi. Um, but they've already got a place where Celebi can actually be, so I think that's a little bit out of the question. Uh, Kelly Iron said, just don't have Meloetta as a non-soft resettable Pokemon. Uh, also, uh, then uh, let's see, Josh said, I would love to see some Gen 7 Mons, Young Goose, Grubbin, uh, and maybe some mini games where you had to complete them for a prize. That is really smart. Other than that, though, the Pokemon that you mentioned are already in the game, as far as I believe, so I'm really sorry about that. Maybe we could even see our first uh, Ultra Beast in there or something like that, or even a Guardian. Um... Your Pizza Man says, I would really like to see Lickitung. Pumpkin Drachi said, a hidden place in the Safari Zone for a Celebi encounter. We still don't have that Pokemon in the game yet, so why not add in a Grass type in the Safari Zone? Uh, Oliver said, Farfetch'd. <laughs> Michael again said, Farfetch'd. Ryan said, Gumi. I would really love to see Gumi in there too. Uh, Zanster said, Kangaskhan. Um, Aiden said, a new Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Dust said, Farfetch'd. Kangaskhan, Lickitung. Kangaskhan, Lickitung, Burn. Me, Wobbuffet. Oh, Wobbuffet would be a really good one, too. Yeah, I like that one. I would like to see Celebi the Onion Fairy. Someone said Arceus. Oh, Jesus. God, you've got some high expectations, dude. A custom safari Bidoof, which could only be found on specific days. I am a killer. That is such a good little idea. Like, dude, that is awesome. They do need to make something unique about this update, and that could actually be one of the things. I actually think that would be really good. Um, safari Pikachu. Uh, let's see. Kong's gone. They should have Buzzlord. Who is Buzzlord? And then someone reply with Guzzlord. I think that's like an Ultra Beast, right? Uh, developer X said, I want a Mewtwo or a Cubone, and uh, yeah, just a lot of you guys actually said like so many things. Somebody said, oh, Golden Weedle, and um, there should be Agumon in the Oh god, no, Nick Frost, no! No, we're not having Digimon crossover with this. Someone said, Nathan, I'll, fr I'll, I'll take him there, and I'll leave him there. So that'd be cool. Uh, but then another person actually said a Camel Bidoof too. Huh. 
Okay, so it looks like a couple of people actually want some sort of, like, special looking Pokemon. Honestly, I think a Padoof would actually be pretty cool. Other than that, um, I don't know. I think that there's a lot to add into this update. There's a lot they can keep on adding into the update after it's actually done. And I really hope that isn't one of those updates where they just kind of update it and leave it. And it dies. Because I would really love to see them do something with the Safari Zone. Uh, definitely, they could, like, even if they plan for the future, they could release the Pokemon in the Safari Zone now, and then maybe later on down the line, make it where you can get Horde Encounters in there or something like that. That would be impressive. That would be very cool. I would love it very much. Um... But anyway, guys, I would really like to see what you guys think in the comment section below about the Safari Zone update and who you think they will add. Give me like two or three Pokemon names. And also, if you have any inspiration in terms of, you know, an item, a secret special key item that you can find in there, tell me in the comment section below what that is. And also, before I leave on today's note, uh, also, I did upload like two videos, two amazing videos on my channel. Guys, go and check it out. Otherwise, you're missing out. Um, and uh, yeah, just have a very awesome day, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya!